To help fulfill a standing U.S. Army attack aircraft requirement, little-known Kaiser fleet wings developed a large, single-seat, single-engine conventional monoplane under the XA-39 designation. The type competed with a collection of other similar offerings but never materialized beyond the mock-up stage by which point the Army had moved from its focus on single-engine heavy attackers to twin-engine types and the XA-39 fell to history. Founded in 1929, Fleet Wings was born in Bristol, Pennsylvania and was acquired in 1943 by Kaiser to produce the Kaiser Fleet Wings brand label. The brand only saw a few wartime aircraft designs but none never achieved any sort of notoriety. The company continued operations into the post-war years by which point it was involved in the American space program before closing its doors for good in 1962. The XA-39 was developed for the ground attack role and this meant a large and rugged, reliable aircraft capable of absorbing punishment from ground-based fire and dealing with the stresses of diving and quick turns. Range was also an important quality as loitering over contested zones was a priority. Typically these aircraft types were required to carry considerable ordnance loads, guns, cannons, rockets, and drop bombs. To power the new design, Kaiser Fleet Wings engineers selected the massive Pratt & Whitney R2800 series radial piston engine of 2,100 horsepower output and this would be used to drive a three-bladed propeller unit at the nose. Its overall configuration saw the engine at front with the cockpit immediately aft, though the latter fitted well forward of midships itself. The pilot was given relatively good views from a slightly framed canopy. Wings were monoplane appendages and the tail unit was of a standard, single-finned arrangement. The undercarriage utilized a typical tail dragger configuration. As with other American warplanes of the period, particularly those expected to fly low and slow, cockpit and engine armoring was to be standard as were self-sealing fuel tanks. Overall dimensions of the XA-39 were a length of 42.8 feet and wingspan of 55.8 feet. Proposed armament became 2 by 37 mm autocannons and up to 4 by 0.50 caliber heavy machine guns, HMGs, all presumably fitted to the wings. An internal weapons bay was to cover the bombing requirement, 6 by 500 pounds bombs, or equivalent, would envisioned as a standard load. Engineers estimated the radial engine coupled to the streamlined design would provide the aircraft with a maximum speed of 357 miles per hour when cruising at 16,600 feet. Climb rate would have been 2,040 feet per minute and a service ceiling of 27,800 feet being reported. Operational range was out to 1,400 miles. As previously stated, Army authorities gradually moved away from single-engine attack types and settled on twin-engine platforms for the duration of the war, which ended in 1945. By the end, the single-engine attack type had returned to the forefront of Army plans and classics such as the Douglas Skyraider emerged to take the mantle.